Hi guys, today I'm going to show you another project I've been working on here. Um, this is actually a Moog Opus 3, which I've never really showed one of these off on YouTube. Um, I've got one myself, but I had not had time to work on it because I've been working on everybody else's stuff. So mine still needs some work. Uh, but today I'm working on the guy's uh, Opus 3. And this is a really neat little design synthesizer. It was actually designed by Dave Luce, the same person that designed the Poly Moog. Um, the interface and everything was designed by Herb Deutsch, so the actual layout, um, which is a really interesting kind of uh, a concept from, from Moog. Uh, this was something that was, uh, it's kind of an approach of a string machine, a synthesizer, and, um, you know, uh, organ. Really, it's a really interesting kind of concept. Um, but basically, I'm just going to go through and show you what, what this thing actually is. Um, basically, it uses a lot different circuitry than any other Moog I've worked on, so don't get it confused with the MG1 polyphonic section or a poly Moog. It's nothing like those. Um, what this one uses, it uses a divider, uh, which actually if I go down here, I'll show you here in a minute when I turn it off, but uh, this board here holds all your dividers and your uh, top octave chip and your uh, oscillator, your top frequency oscillator. Um, and basically what these use, they use a little different style of... Uh, divider chip, which in this case it actually works like an organ. It actually has um, different uh, different outputs per uh, divider. So for instance, if I look at the front here, I gotta see if I remember what the ranks are. It's uh, oh, right here. It's uh, Each divider produces a 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1 uh, frequency rank for each note. And uh, what it does, it's like draw bars of an organ. If you think of like an organ, it has draw bars where well, this works very similar. Um, and then what happens is too, these dividers are also gated, which means they have like a little amplifier built into them. And um, so actually you're, you're pretty much using this one little divider chip to do your amplification control, like your voltage controlled amplifier and your frequency division. And so whenever you hit a note, you'll actually see a signal come into this, and it'll actually start producing a waveform output for each uh, each one of those uh, 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 ranks, should I say. And uh, so it's a really neat concept on that. And a lot of your old 70s organs use this kind of concept because it's very simple, very cheap to build, but actually did very efficient uh, for what it was. You know, it was a very uh, neat concept. Uh, the only drawback is a lot of people don't like this is because you'll have one amplifier, you know, per. So your summing's a lot different. So it actually, it sounds more like a uh, Selena string ensemble. If you think about that, we hit a note, hit another note, it re-triggers, but it's still got uh, droning from the last note hit. Same kind of thing here. Uh, that's a mouthful, I know. But now I'm just going to walk you through. It's got a chorus built in, which is actually on this board down here which was actually uh, outsourced from Moog. That's actually, this this uh, this actual uh, chorus is made in Metzko, um, which is kind of interesting. It's one of the first Moogs I've really seen that's just truly just outsourced. Uh, got outsourced boards and stuff. Um, besides the Moog satellite, which was Thomas Organ. Um, but anyways, I'm just going to give you a quick example here. Right now we're in actually the chorus, so you're just going to hear just the chorus. It's got two ranks. It's got eight and four that it's using for it. And as you can hear... It's at our tack time slower. It's got some capacitors I gotta change up for sustain times, but... Actually, you can control the depth of that phaser. I'm in that uh, chorus. So I got clean these sliders, but you can hear something like that. So that's the chorus section. We'll cut it off over here in the mix. We'll cut on the organ, which, like I say, it's like draw bars. So you got these uh, these right here, which represent each draw bar from 16 to one basically is how this works. So let me actually get a long sustain here so I can do this. So right now you'll hear nothing. I'm going to bring up the 16th uh, so you can hear. I'll bring up the uh, 4. I'm sorry, the 8. That's 2. 
There's the four, two, and one. Something like that. What's also cool about it is you can actually use this slider here to route it into the phaser. Or the, I'm sorry, I keep saying phaser, the, the chorus effect. So I'm going to pan that over here to the organ section. Slow attack. So something like that, and that's basically your your uh, your organ going through the chorus. And then what we've also got, we got a mono filter section, which actually uses the Moog ladder filter. As you can see, it's just in a different arrangement on different on this board, but same same filter. Um, as you can hear. You set it to 16. You set the octave to 4. Or you can set it to, uh, I think a mixture of the both, or it might be, let me look here at the front. Alright, it's uh, 16, 8, and 4. So that's actually 4, 8, and 16. And the same kind of thing, you can route the filter to the organ. So if we do this right here, so that is going to the organ. We can pan it back and it'll just be back to the one one note. And basically all this is is just to chain off those dividers. That's really all it is. Um, but then also what you can do too is you can modulate the, uh, the oscillator, uh, the top frequency oscillator. So we, can do, so we can get something like this. Now it makes the organ. But now one problem this one still has, which I, I'll show I'll show this for uh, for Jason, the owner of this one. Um, what I found out is you got one bad divider completely. It's just it's not doing anything. It's not producing any function, as you can hear. I'm hitting this note here for all the C, uh, for all the uh, D sharps, and then the E note is actually missing some of the ranks. You've got three of the ranks, but two of them are missing. So as you can hear, let actually go make sure we're an organ here. Yeah. So as you can hear, here's 16. Here's eight, here's four, but if I go to two or one, they're missing. And it's actually at that divider. I checked it and it's actually producing no output. Um, so that's the problem. But now what I'll do, I'll show you the actual divider board here. Um, let me just prop this board up in here. We got power off here. Okay, let me just get that board to stand up. It's on here. It's kind of hard doing all this one-handed here. There we go. Yeah, so now I'll show you what the inside of this looks like. This is your, your actual divider, uh, top octave board, keyer circuit, all that kind of stuff. And uh, there's your actual dividers. And this, like I say, and these produce your, your divisions and your uh, basically voltage controlled amplifier. Um, there's your power supply. It's very similar to what you see, like in the MG1. Kind of similar uh, design for the um, for the poly section, but this board here is a lot more complex because it actually does have a keying circuit, uh, where the where the MG1 it's just basically just hit a note and it's it's driving a signal. Um, this is your chorus board right here, and it actually does use the Bucket Brigade style um, chorus effect, very similar to what you find in like the Omni, the Arp Omni, the Selena, a very similar approach. Um, and actually has a very similar sound. Um, but uh, anyways, I just want to take a quick minute here and just kind of show this off and uh, kind of give you an idea of what the Opus 3 is. 
I know this is one of those mugs I have not talked a whole lot about. Um, and I just wanted to, wanted to go through it. So anyways, I appreciate all you guys watching and uh, take care.